The term old money has long been a source of fascination and intrigue, conjuring images of sprawling estates, exclusive clubs, and generations of influence. The old money elite, as they are often referred to, have managed to preserve and even grow their wealth over centuries through wars, economic crises, and social upheavals. In this age of short-term thinking and rapid change, the old money elite's ability to sustain their wealth is nothing short of remarkable. But how do they do it? What are the secrets that allow them to maintain and grow their fortunes? In this video, we shall delve into the strategies and tactics of the old money elite, examining the principles they adhere to and the systems they have established to ensure their wealth endures. Number one, establishing a strong financial foundation. First and foremost, the old money elite are committed to long-term wealth preservation over short-term gains. They understand that fortune is fickle and that a single-minded focus on immediate profits can lead to the eventual erosion of their wealth. To safeguard their financial foundation, they diversify their investments across a range of asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities. By spreading their wealth across multiple investments, they reduce the risk of losing it all in a single stroke of misfortune. For example, the Rockefeller family, one of the most iconic examples of old money wealth in America, has successfully diversified their wealth across multiple asset classes for generations. The Rockefeller family has consistently held significant positions in blue-chip stocks and bonds. By investing in well-established corporations with a history of stable returns, the family has maintained a steady income and capitalized on the growth of these companies over time. Additionally, quite naturally, they hold positions in commodities and natural resources. The family's wealth originally stemmed from the oil industry, and they have continued to invest in natural resources over the years. This includes investments in timber, mining, and agriculture, which provide not only financial returns, but also act as a hedge against inflation. Lastly, venture capital and private equity. The Rockefeller family has diversified its wealth by investing in various venture capital and private equity funds, which offer exposure to innovative companies and industries. For example, the family's investment arm, Venrock, has been involved in financing successful companies like Apple and Intel, allowing the family to capitalize on the growth of these businesses. Much like the Rockefellers, most members of the old money elite often invest in tried and tested industries that have stood the test of time. They prefer to put their capital in businesses with stable and predictable returns rather than chasing after the latest investment fad or speculative venture. By concentrating on reliable investments, they can ensure a steady stream of income that helps preserve their wealth. Number two, real estate as wealth preservation. Indeed, real estate has long been a favored asset class for the old money elite. It offers several benefits that make it an ideal wealth preservation tool. For one, they often own and manage multi-generational properties that have been in their families for centuries. These properties not only provide a source of income, but also serve as a tangible symbol of their wealth and social standing. One of the most famous multi-generational properties owned by the DuPont family, one of the oldest and wealthiest old money families in America, is the Winterthur Estate in Delaware, which was built by Henry Francis DuPont in the early 20th century. This 1,000-acre estate, which includes a 175-room mansion, has served not only as a family residence, but also as a museum, showcasing the family's extensive collection of American decorative arts. Winterthur has provided the DuPont family with both a source of income and a testament to their wealth and influence. Investing in prime locations and landmark buildings is another strategy employed by the old money elite. Such properties tend to appreciate in value over time, making them a reliable store of wealth. Furthermore, owning prestigious properties can enhance their social status and influence. The Hearst family, a prominent American old money family, has effectively invested in prime locations and landmark buildings as part of their wealth preservation strategy, such as the Hart Tower. Located in Manhattan, New York, the Hearst Tower is a 46-story skyscraper that serves as the headquarters for the Hearst Corporation. This iconic building, completed in 2006, 
is a prime example of the family's continued investment in prestigious commercial properties. Its distinctive design and central location in Manhattan make it a valuable asset that has contributed to the family's wealth. Leveraging real estate for tax benefits and asset protection is another tactic employed by the old money elite. By taking advantage of tax loopholes and structuring their property holdings in a manner that minimizes their tax liability, they can effectively preserve their wealth. Number 3. Private Banking and Wealth Management Services The old money elite values discretion and personalized service when it comes to managing their finances. They often work with established private banks and wealth management firms that cater specifically to their unique needs. These institutions offer a level of confidentiality and customization that traditional banks simply cannot match. One such example is Goldman Sachs Private Wealth Management, a division of the prominent investment bank Goldman Sachs Group Inc., which is known for its personalized financial services with a global presence and a reputation for expertise. Goldman Sachs is a trusted partner for many old money families. Offshore banking plays a significant role in wealth preservation for the old money elite. By diversifying their assets across multiple jurisdictions, they can minimize their exposure to political and economic risks in any one country. Offshore banking also offers tax benefits and increased asset protection, further contributing to their ability to preserve their wealth. Number 4. Education and Networking The importance of education and networking cannot be overstated in the world of the old money elite. They understand that their wealth is not just a matter of money, but also of connections and influence. Attending elite private schools and universities such as Eton, Harvard and Oxford is a rite of passage for the old money elite. These institutions provide not only a top-tier education, but also a forum for forging lifelong connections with other influential individuals. These networks of influence are critical to the old money elite's ability to maintain and grow their wealth. By associating with other powerful individuals, they can access opportunities and information that may not be available to the general public. These relationships can prove invaluable when it comes to making business deals, protecting their interests, or navigating the complexities of the global financial system. Number five, philanthropy and social influence. Philanthropy is a key tool for the old money elite in managing their reputation and maintaining their social standing. They often establish charitable foundations and trusts that support various causes, from education and healthcare to the arts and environmental conservation. The Whitney family, a prominent American old money family, has effectively used philanthropy as a tool for social influence and wealth preservation in the 21st century. For example, established by Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney in 1930, the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City has continued to thrive in the 21st century thanks to the family's ongoing financial support and involvement. The museum not only bolsters the family's reputation in the art world, but also highlights their commitment to cultural enrichment. Furthermore, the Flora C. Whitney Miller Education Fund the fund supports educational initiatives and scholarships for students pursuing careers in the arts, further demonstrating the family's commitment to the betterment of society and the cultivation of future generations of artists. Through these endeavors, old money families can demonstrate their commitment to the betterment of society and, in turn, cultivate goodwill and admiration from their peers and the public. Leveraging philanthropy for reputation management and tax benefits is a time-honored strategy of the old money elite. Charitable donations can result in significant tax breaks, allowing them to preserve more of their wealth. Number 6. Trusts and Family Offices Trusts, family offices, and intergenerational wealth transfer strategies are essential to the old money elite, such as the Astor family, in preserving their wealth and maintaining their influence. Trusts, as legal structures, protect assets from creditors, lawsuits and taxation, ensuring minimal loss when passing them to heirs. In the 21st century, the Astor family utilizes trusts, such as the Vincent Astor Foundation Trust, to manage and protect their assets according to their wishes. Family offices, 
private entities managing a single family's wealth and investments offer professional asset management and services like tax planning, estate planning, and philanthropic advising. These offices are vital in preserving wealth and facilitating smooth intergenerational asset transfers. Succession planning and wealth transfer strategies developed with family offices and legal advisors enable a seamless transition of wealth and power to the next generation reducing family disputes and fortune erosion risks. A strong reputation for generosity and social responsibility can help deflect criticism and scrutiny, further protecting their interests. Engaging in high-profile social events like exclusive galas, fundraisers and cultural events allows the old money elite to forge new connections, strengthen existing ones and reinforce their upper echelon status. 7. Political Influence and Lobbying The old money elite has long understood the importance of political influence in preserving their wealth and engage in policy making to shape the economic and legal landscape to their advantage. The Ford family, as part of the old money elite, has long understood the importance of political influence in preserving their wealth. Over history and into the 21st century, they have invested in political campaigns and engaged in policy making to shape the economic and legal landscape to their advantage. A notable example is the founding of Ford Motor Company by Henry Ford in the early 20th century. Henry Ford was an influential figure, not only in the automobile industry, but also in American politics. He supported politicians and parties that aligned with his interests, such as those advocating for the development of highways and transportation infrastructure, which directly benefited the automobile industry. In the 21st century, the Ford family continues to exert political influence through lobbying effort. For instance, Ford Motor Company is known to lobby for policies that benefit the automotive industry such as favorable regulations and tax incentives for the development of electric vehicles and autonomous driving technologies. By employing lobbyists to advocate for their interests, they can ensure that legislation and regulations are designed to protect and even enhance their wealth. Through these political investments and lobbying activities, the Ford family has been able to shape favorable economic policies, maintain their wealth, and secure the longevity of their family business. Now we'd like to see you in the comments. Have you personally used any of these old money strategies in your life? Thanks for watching us here at Old Money Luxury.